Welcome everyone to one more video about King Arthur Legends Rise. In this video we are talking about if this game is pay to win or not. Don't forget to subscribe. If you guys already watched my previous video about the first impressions about King Arthur, I already explained a little bit about my opinion. But I'm going to do a more deep explanation about this, okay? So we're gonna start looking at everything we can buy, alright? So because this is the way we can see if it's pay to win or not, okay? So, for my opinion, I don't think it's pay to win. It's kind of free to play. If you want to play this, uh, you can do a lot of content. I know I'm not that late on the game, on the end game stage. Uh, I'm still kind of in the beginning of the game, but I can already see what I can expect from the player base and from this game. They will give you uh, some legendaries you can get a lot of rares, which are kind of epic, and you can do most of the content with those epics. And they also give you some legendaries free. On the day 7, they give you a free legendary. On the day 30, they give you another legendary. And you can summon a few more legendaries with, with the summons. Alright, I already got 4, so on, on, and I've not played that much. And you can get much more legendaries in one month. So I don't think that's a problem. You can do all of the content, I think. Uh, I don't I don't know. No one knows how is the end game stage at this point. So if you want to do the late game, like last stages of this game, or the farming and everything, I don't know how hard it is to, to do it as a free to player. But my concerns are about pay to progress. Okay? So this game is very heavy pay to progress. So what do I mean about pay, pay, pay to pro progress? I don't have any concerns about summonings. Uh, if everyone wants to spend money and do as much summons as I can, it's their money, I don't mind. It's the same thing for pay to, pay to pro progress, but in my opinion, I don't like it. Because if I'm playing as a free to player or a low spender, whatever, um, while I'm progressing, I'm a bit stuck regarding stamina and gear and all of that stuff. So eventually, if I'm stuck in a high level, I need to farm to level up my character, get better gear, etc. But in this game, you can buy all of that. So you can buy these gems, which you use to increase the stars of your heroes. So one less thing you need to farm. Of course, you can buy loads of stamina, which is these packs. And this is just a pop-ups. But there's more, guys. There's more. You can buy buy much more to level up your characters and all that stuff. So, for example, this one again, it, this is to level up to increase the stars of your heroes. This is to get the relic shards to summon the relics. But yeah, I I don't have any concerns about that. It's just the things they use to. You see, one gear set. So I only have two stars, three stars. This one gives already you 4 stars equipment, so imagine with this, if I had this at this point, I would progress much more content without the, without the need to farm and do a lot of those dungeons to get more gear and stuff. And then if we go here to these packages, it's the same thing, okay? They give you more stuff to level up your characters, they give you gold, which is important in this game, but the heaviest ones, I think, is this one. So these ones give you loads of stamina, okay? Each one gives you gives you 50. These ones give you more, more stamina. If you buy this one, it gives you more stamina and gold. There's so much. And my concern about this game is only this one. Again, another crafting materials uh, selections chest. So basically, you can get loads of gear. Um, this one... It's different, this one is for the for the Forbidden King, which you get from the dungeon. But still, you can get loads of, of stuff for spending money on this game that will not be able, for a free-to-player, will not be able to compete. So that's my only concern, at least at the beginning of this game. If you are a free-to-player or a long spender, it will be really hard to be at the same stage as someone is paying much more money money than you because imagine if you are just spending 20 20 pounds and there's another player player spending 50 or 60 it, it means he can spend on the summons or other stuff but imagine if he's spending on the materials on stamina and stuff like that 
you will have much more stamina than you, you will have better gear, so you can do later stages, you will form better stuff, so you can't really compete against, against that. And that's the, my biggest concern about this. Eventually, when you get to the late game, um, there, there's no need to farm so much, so the farming will not be so much important, and by that stage, this does not, does not matter anymore. But at least at the beginning, it's something really important to have. Stamina, gear, materials to level up. And if you can get some of those through paying money, real money for that, it makes it much, much easier. So again, guys, I think it's free to play the game. You can play it free. Uh, it's You, you can re really enjoy to play this game. Graphics are good and there's a lot of content and stuff. They give you some legendaries. But again, if someone is paying much more money than you and you're not even spending any money will be really hard to compete against those players at least at the at the launch of this game to mid game and maybe when you reach the end game and they're already on the end game you will have a chance against those players imagine just now if you if you are playing for these materials those players can be already on the last level like cc and you are still stuck on 30 or 40 because you need to farm everything and eventually you get out of stamina and you need to wait for that stamina to, re to replenish. And yeah, the, it is what it is. But yeah, this is just my opinion. Uh, it doesn't mean the game is bad. It just means it's really hard to compete against those players and whales. Comparing with Dragonair, it's not the same thing. Dragonair, you can't buy all of this stuff. Basically, as a free-to-play, you can buy almost everything, or at least as a low spender. As a low spender, you can, uh, you will have the same progress as a uh, whale. Okay. The only difference in Dragonair is that they will do more summons than you. But again, I don't care about that. As a, a low spender, you can be higher rank than someone paying three thousand, four thousand, and it's better if you want to compete against other players. All right, guys. So this was just my opinion about this game being uh, free to play or pay to win, uh, which in my opinion is pay to progress. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments what you think about King of Hearts. Or I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget, like and subscribe. See you next time.